It's okay. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are honored to ha have uh, Professor Hong Ding from Shanghai Jiao Tong University come to give us the Hong Kong IAS Distinguished Lectures. And Hong Ding got his PhD in same university, huh? Shanghai Jiao Tong University in the uh, 19... Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, bachelor, bachelor degree, bachelor degree. And then he went to the United States and got his PhD in the uh, University of Illinois at uh, Chicago. And he actually, you know, become famous at a very young age, you know. Uh, I, I know him in, in, in the early days. So when I first see him, I was surprised that the young guy, <laughs> he's such a young guy. <laughs> uh, but at the time, you know, HITC incorporates very hard. Uh, and, Hong Ding make a very uh, important uh, discovery in, this, in observing the pseudo gap. You know, we know that the un, unusual property of Kubre you know, is in the, the strange normal state property. Right? And uh, the, the key to understand that is a pseudo gap. So, so Hong Ding you know, used up as angular, this angular resolved photo emission to directly measure the, 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 the dispersion of, of electron. And then, you know, from that one, you can understand, one can, with that kind of spectrum, then one can easily understand why the normal state is so strange. And then in uh, 2018, right, and he returned to China. And it, it's also a good timing. At the time, uh, we entered... 2008. 2008, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, 2008. And we entered the so-called iron age of high temperature superconductivity. And Hong Ding again make uh, several important uh, discoveries, uh, particularly that the direct observation of S wave of the supernova gap. I think he's the man of, of, of first. Okay. So that uh, is very important to to pin down what kind of mechanism it should be. Right? You 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 need to first know the symmetry of the of the superconductivity. And then you now he keep, keep accelerating in his scientific uh, output. And so today he are going to uh, tell about his newest uh, di discovery. And I also should mention that in addition to his scientific research, Hong Ding actually play a very important role in what we can say the, the, the government aspect of science in China. And he's instrumental in building a series of instrument in Shanghai light source, and also he's a uh, um, major pusher to establish the viral science center. Okay, so uh, let's welcome uh, Hong Ding. <coughs> Thank you. Um, Professor Bao, for this very kind introduction. Uh, we know each other from very early day uh, in high TC. Uh, that was fun. And, uh, and you notice that, that when I walk <laughs> to the stage, uh, kind of limp, I, I have the, the, the back problem. So if I cannot uh, <laughs> stand up for too long, I may uh, uh, sit down. And so, um, this is my third time of visiting um, City University of Hong Kong, uh, but it's the first time for me to visit the, the, um, <clears throat> uh, this uh, uh, Hong Kong Institute of Advanced Studies. So it's a great honor to be here to give a, uh, a, a, a talk here. And uh, so since uh, Professor Ball mentioned about my uh, early contribution to HITC, and uh, I cannot resist uh, to tell you a, a little bit of a story. Um, so after we found uh, uh, the pseudo gap, and uh, that's before I found a permanent job uh, in US, and one of my colleague, uh, Mohi Van Deere, uh, told me uh, that, say, uh, you, yeah, most likely you have achieved uh, the biggest <laughs> accomplished for your lifetime. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so I feel a little bit depressed. And, uh, and then um, uh, after 10 years in Boston College as a faculty, 
I started to appreciate uh, uh, what he meant. So then, um, then at that time, uh, 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 University of Hong Kong uh, gave me an offer, and uh, so I see, gee, that's a good opportunity, and uh, I was about to accept an offer that come uh, a surprise offer from the Institute of, of Physics, Chinese Academy of Sciences. And uh, then, yeah, since I'm doing a single Chang, and uh, it's not easy to build a single Chang in Hong Kong, uh, so I accept uh, Beijing's offer, uh, then, yeah, uh, the rest is, yeah, I stayed in Institute of Physics for 14 years. And we made a, a, a couple of more discovery. And uh, so when I met uh, Mohid uh, a, a few years ago, I told him that, uh, uh, so our uh, the citation of our discovery of the wild fermion surpassed uh, the citation of our discovery of the pseudo gap. Um, so, so yeah, we probably, um, yeah, uh, made an even more important uh, uh, accomplishment. Uh, so that means uh, you have to be motivated and you have to, uh, to be, yeah, willing to take a risk and uh, to give up your uh, comfortable uh, position and uh, move on. So today I will give you uh, a story of, of this uh, journey that we actually found the so-called uh, the Ein Majorana platform. And uh, I will try to convince you uh, ion-based superconductors um, actually it's a wonderful uh, Majorana playground. Uh, now I move to uh, Zheng Dao Li Institute, Shanghai Jiatong University. And I'm also the uh, new cornerstone uh, um, fellows. Uh, so we are required to put the, the affiliation <laughs> in this. And uh, so since uh, TDD Institute is a new institute uh, proposed um, a few years ago by uh, TDD uh, himself, and uh, his vision is to build uh, a world top fundamental research institute uh, like uh, Niels Bohr Institute. He raised the three questions. So what are the natures for the dark matter and the dark energy? Uh, what is the relationship between the largest infinity and the smallest uh, infinity in the universe? And what's the most fundamental laws of the nature and the universe? And uh, uh, that's in his letter to a uh, Chinese leader, uh, President Xi. And uh, so we have uh, three divisions, and uh, 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 including um, astrophysics, uh, uh, particle physics, and also uh, condensed matter, mostly in quantum science. So we try to explore the, the most fundamental laws, and especially under the extreme uh, cosmic condition. So there are three ways to do it. It's either you build a telescope to observe uh, the early stage of the universe, hopefully to learn uh, the Big Bang. And then the second way, you can recreate some of your extreme condition by using a powerful ultra-fast lasers uh, to do this. And thirdly, uh, probably remotely is you can use some uh, analogs and by studying so-called solid universe and to understand our own universe. Uh, so um, my last uh, um, eight years is most uh, in this uh, uh, endeavor. So, uh, so we are part of uh, a, a unit in Shanghai Jiatong University, and uh, there is a um, school of physics and astronomy, and we have to be different because we are doing essentially the same topic. So we essentially use so-called organized uh, science approach uh, by using uh, or building some scientific 
facilities, and we have for this. Uh, If I point it, I can't. I need to see it from here. Can you see who? Oh, yeah. oh you can see it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So, and uh, we, we be, okay. It's not a, so common. So, I, let me just tell you. So, uh, in Shanghai, we have uh, several experimental applied form. You may not be able to see it. Uh, it's too small. Sorry for this. Uh, we have uh, some of those, and uh, especially for this uh, laser-driven, uh, this uh, uh, astrophysics lab, and also the topological quantum computation platforms, and also we have some uh, the computer, uh, the powerful uh, cluster computer. Uh, but uh, we do move uh, uh, away, and uh, you can see uh, the old uh, thousand uh, kilometers away, one is in Qinghai called uh, Lenghu. Uh, it's a very high uh, altitude, and uh, we could adjust uh, spectroscopy telescope, uh, trying to uh, find uh, the star-like sun, uh, and also the planet uh, like Earth, and it's a four-meter uh, telescope. And also we have so-called Panda X trying to search uh, dark matter and also uh, neutrino uh, detector. Uh, I will mention later on. And uh, that's very deep, uh, more than uh, 2,400 meters deep. And uh, yeah, uh, trying to see so-called WIMPs. And uh, we also propose to build uh, a, a, yeah, the largest neutrino telescope uh, called the Trident uh, at the uh, South uh, Channel Sea. Uh, uh, actually, uh, under the seabed, um, about uh, more than 3,000 meter deep. And, uh, so that's it's, uh, one kilo four by four and one uh, kilometer uh, size. And uh, so 10 times larger than um, uh, ice cube. So uh, now I move to uh, the part of my talk. And uh, we're also uh, interested in, uh, in the uh, particles in the in universe. Uh, the one mean universe means solid uh, universe. But if we look at the real universe, we know uh, there are two kinds of particles. One is called uh, fermion, another is called boson. Uh, I, I think. Uh, most of you know, yeah, what I uh, mean. They, uh, this, it's essentially fundamental, uh, governed by fundamental uh, laws of the uh, quantum mechanics. So, if you exchange uh, identical uh, particles, uh, you either uh, get the sign change, uh, means the fermion, uh, or uh, the same sign means the boson. And uh, we know there are only three kinds of fermions in the universe. Uh, one is called a Dirac, another called a Wire, and the third is called a Majorana. And the Dirac, uh, actually, uh, back in 1928, uh, he introduced, he put the um, this theory of special relativity into the Schrodinger equation and uh, figure out uh, the equation to describe the fast moving electrons uh, called the Dirac uh, equation. Uh, so that's why he shared the Nobel Prize with Schrodinger. And uh, the nice part of the Dirac equation is he actually predict there are two solutions. So positive or ne negative. The negative energy uh, solution uh, has to come from this uh, positive charge because uh, uh, positive charge. Uh, the, the opposite charge in electric field will generate the uh, opposite uh, potential. So then, uh, that's essentially a prediction of the positron. And also from this, he realized actually uh, this anti-particle 
particle called anode, and also they can create from the energy. So means the the vacuum is not real uh, vacuum. Yeah. So vacuum flow of this uh, particle and that par particle uh, uh, pairs. And a year later, uh, a while, uh, realized uh, that uh, if this uh, uh, two, uh, uh, um, the, this gap, this uh, the mass, uh, the gap closes, and uh, when you have the so-called massless uh, Dirac fermion, and uh, that you can even uh, even uh, simplify this four by four uh, matrix uh, e equation Dirac so-called wire equation uh, that's uh, predict so-called wire fermion, which is uh, the massless fermion with the opposite uh, characteristics. And uh, in 1937, uh, Majorana, a Italian um, physicist, um, proposed uh, that it's possible to have the antiparticle equal to particle, uh, which uh, it's actually simple. In this uh, Dirac equation, if the wave function is a real number, then this uh, complex uh, conjugate it's itself. So the antiparticle is it, itself. So that's uh, the prediction. And so far, only uh, Dirac fermion has been discovered in the universe, and uh, the wire and the marijuana still uh, are elusive in the uh, real universe. So that come uh, a rescue from a solid universe, and uh, in a solid we have uh, millions of electrons, and also we have uh, ions, and uh, so the low energy excitation uh, can be described uh, sometimes as so-called quasi-particle, which may obey the same physical laws as the fundamental particles, and uh, the they have similar or same Dirac, Weyl, and uh, Majorana equations that also exist. There is Dirac, Weyl, and the Majorana fermions in solid universe. Of course, this universe, uh, the solid universe is not a real universe. It's probably you should call it a solid multiverse because there are hundreds, if not thousands, of a given kind, and also the the symmetry is different. Um, so, but they still have those uh, analog uh, between this uh, real universe and the solid universe. And uh, by studying uh, fermions uh, in uh, solid universe, it, it not only uh, enrich our knowledge, uh, but also sometimes it give us useful device. As you know, uh, when people solve the, uh, the, the Dirac e uh, equation in semiconductor, uh, this enable people to discover transistors uh, that lead uh, this uh, um, IC and the computers, uh, which fundamentally change the human society and the human civil civilization. Uh, our group uh, is very fortunate to be part of uh, discover discovery of the wire fermion in uh, solids. Uh, we published uh, uh, three uh, papers in uh, 2015 and uh, actually uh, found that the evidence for the fermion arcs on the surface, the pair of the wire nodes in the bulk and spin uh, texture uh, uh, of the fermion arc and uh, uh, some of the work has a, a a, a very strong uh, contribution from uh, Junzhang Ma, uh, uh, who was a uh, uh, graduate student uh, in my group uh, at that time. And uh, that be, ha, has been recognized by yeah, a lot of press, and the mo most importantly, uh, as one of 49 uh, milestone uh, discoveries uh, by physical review uh, journals over the 
uh, over this uh, 125 years. So that's why I think uh, this discovery may surpass uh, our discovery of the silver gap. So then after that, um, uh, my interest to uh, shift to the third uh, unfound uh, particle, which is um, marijuana fermia. So Iraq, wire, and the third one is marijuana. Therefore, a tremendous interest um, in physics uh, in searching for marijuana fermia. Uh, for particle physics, uh, the, that's yeah, searching for this, it's a very important. And uh, neutrino uh, is predicted as a marginal fermion. And uh, of course, initially, was predicted as wild fermion. And, uh, but uh, later, on, neutrino was found to have a mass. So uh, strictly speaking, it's not wild fermion. And, uh, uh, so people, um, most people in particle physics believe uh, neutrino is much on a fermion, um, but this need experimental verification. Um, uh, one of, or probably the, the experiment is called the neutrino list double beta decay. Beta decay is a very common. It's a, a neutron decay into proton and uh, 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 this uh, uh, anti uh, the, uh, electron uh, and also uh, anti uh, neutrino. Uh, if the two beta decay happen simultaneously, which is a very, very rare, and uh, so you have two anti neutrino. If they are marijuana, so you can think of this two can on it because uh, particle and the particle are the same. They will iron it. So you have a new chain, no least double beta decay. Uh, if you discover this, uh, that proof uh, that the neutrino is marijuana fermion, uh, that will be, uh, may be a major, major uh, discovery uh, in particle physics. And uh, of course, if you if people never found it, if it's not the marijuana fermion neutrino, that also will lead to some rethinking of uh, uh, particle physics. In kinetic matter physics, uh, searching for marijuana fermion is also important. And uh, Bogolub of quasi particle in a P wave uh, superconductor, I will explain a little bit more, uh, is a marijuana uh, fermionic quasi particle, and uh, its cousin, because uh, marijuana zero mode uh, inside of what has core or uh, at the topological defects, and uh, uh, is a non abelian anion. So anion is different from fermion and uh, boson, and uh, so. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you change your sign, means the phase is different by pi. Uh, for boson, it's zero or two pi. But for anion, the phase is different. If you change, it's adding between zero and two pi. Uh, that cannot happen uh, theoretically in three-dimensional world or high dimension. But in two-dimension or one-dimension, that has been proved uh, theoretically uh, it's possible. Uh, so, and the more uh, special one is so-called a non uh, and uh, uh, which uh, have uh, uh, a many uh, degenerate uh, ground states that can be used uh, for the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, quantum state and it can be used uh, for the quantum computation. So. Essentially, uh, there is in 2D, if you move the position in a different way, like a braiding, uh, and uh, in a 3D uh, space time, yeah, uh, the third direction is time. Now you can essentially encode 
the quantum information doing quantum computation. Uh, that's why it's uh, so uh, uh, intensive uh, research. Uh, again, I call my previous statement that is for studying the um, fermions in solid universe sometimes can be useful uh, for making a device. So uh, here is a little bit of explanation of uh, the marginal fermions in a uh, in superconductors. Uh, this uh, picture is from a, a reviewed article uh, by uh, Frank Wiercheck, uh, who was the first director of the TDD Institute. Now he's still a part-time, uh, he's a chief scientist in our institute. Uh, he wrote an article titled Marginal Returns. And uh, so the story is uh, a year after Marjorana predict uh, Marjorana Fermion, he disappeared. Uh, no one know where he was, so he he never returned. And uh, so at the young age, and uh, so but uh, his legacy, so Marjorana Fermion uh, can return. So that's uh, the back. 2009. So essentially, if you can regard an electron in a solid uh, or in a superconductor as a whole plus a pair of Cooper pair, uh, that's almost equal. Is that uh, you have a vacant plus two, so you have minus one, you have minus one plus two, you get one, right? And uh, the number of Cooper pair. It's not a conserved in a uh, superconductor, then you, you, you can see you can have this uh, equivalence uh, of the particle and hole. And uh, in a superconductor, uh, the problem is uh, the spin. And uh, in a usual so called S wave superconductor, the pair come from this spin up and down. Uh, so you can think that will cause the uh, spin in electron and hole be. Uh, different, the opposite. Uh, so that that's why they are not identical. So you have to remove uh, the uh, degree of freedom of the spin, or in a triplet, right? So uh, they have the same spin. Uh, so that called uh, topological superconductor. Therefore, several ways to find the Majorana zero mode in a solid. Uh, initially uh, proposed by uh, uh, Nick Reed and also laid down by KTF. So KTF will propose a simple 1D toy model, a simple P wave superconductor. Uh, he proved uh, other certain parameters uh, that a 1D chain of the P wave superconductor can have the two isolated uh, uh, Majorana zero mode. And that you can use it for quantum uh, topological quantum computation. And uh, in the way you can think of is you split one quantum uh, into two. And because the quantum computation is very uh, sensitive, uh, you cannot see. Right? If you observe the Schrodinger cat, uh, yeah, either dead or or the lab, it's right. you, you cannot observe. You have to keep in the box. Uh, but if you split <laughs> into two, uh, become an anion, and uh, uh, that can be very robust uh, because uh, uh, the way it behaves, uh, it can be very robust. Uh, that you can do uh, operation and uh, Later on, by fuse together to get uh, your result. So that's a clever way uh, to overcome uh, the current uh, problems in quantum computation. Um, so, but the P wave superconductor is very rare. So far, there's no true uh, or uh, widely accepted P wave uh, superconductor. So it's difficult. 
Uh, so the real breakthrough will come in uh, 2008 uh, when Liang Fu and his uh, supervisor, Charlie Ken, uh, figured out that you actually don't need a PV superconductor or, or you don't need this way to create a spinning superconductor. You can create it in a different way. Uh, is essentially, you can create a spinning state, a spin polarized state, by uh, using surface state of topological insulator. And uh, that's been polarized. Then you can put uh, this uh, uh, topological insulator on top of uh, a ordinary S wave superconductor. So the surface state, which is metallic, will become superconducting by proximity effect. Uh, that you actually achieve a 2D, you see a 2D spinning superconductivity. That if you, yeah, you can then easily create by on zero mode by uh, creating magnetic vortex core. And uh, uh, since this has been uh, widely used, and also proposed uh, as this uh, 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 Rochefort uh, uh, semiconductor uh, nanowire, uh, uh, which has been uh, actively pursued by Microsoft uh, Station Cube. And, uh, but this you need uh, uh, interface, you need a hidden structure. So sometimes it's uh, quite complicated and you need a very low temperature. And uh, we actually realize uh, that you actually don't need an a interface. Uh, you can achieve uh, in one thing, uh, achieve two things <laughs> in one materials and uh, uh, which you can use a multi-band superconductor. Some of the band is topological, some of uh, superconducting. Of course, uh, they have a so-called uh, proximity effect in K space. And that you will have a topological surface state which is superconducting. So um, yeah, our group and the Hong Jun's uh, group in RLP uh, figure out uh, uh, this way. And uh, the previously, uh, the several ways, uh, as I explained, the nanowire, atomic chain, TIR superconductor, uh, and also this uh, quantum anomalous hole uh, effect uh, on superconductor. Um, but uh, if you follow the Mashoana story, uh, several uh, um, high-flying papers uh, were, were stored uh, for, due to lack of uh, repro uh, reproduce. So they cannot reproduce uh, several paper I, I put on this uh, that were stored. So that actually created a very bad publicity. Uh, say, in the field, uh, the four of, uh, yeah, this uh, uh, deceiving. You know. So, um, but, but still, uh, therefore, uh, real progress. Uh, I will show, uh, yeah, they have, uh, the reason for this uh, non reproducibility is uh, because of all their problems. They, the complex structure, actual low temperature, very small topological energy gap. So we have to think different. And uh, so the way we, we do this is actually um, we have to th think it, um, to use uh, multi-band, multi-forbidden uh, surface. And also we wanted to move from uh, low temperature superconductor to high TC superconductor. And we have to increase uh, this uh, topological uh, energy gap, um, which is proportional to the superconducting gap divided by the Fermi uh, energy. Uh, so we have to think to uh, greatly reduce Fermi energy to use a small Fermi energy uh, and also move to the, a single material. You can achieve uh, these four goals in one shot. Uh, use so-called uh, ion-based superconductor. I, 
since I returned to China 2008, I, it, yeah, that's also uh, uh, coincides with the discovery of the ion-based uh, superconductors. So that's a, a, a golden time. <laughs> and uh, I was quite uh, lucky to be par part of this. Our group, I can't uh, actually publish uh, like uh, more than 60 papers in your office, superconductors. The first one is showed here. Uh, we actually is the first group to find uh, the so-called S-wave uh, pairing symmetry in this. And, uh, but the gap uh, size is different for the different uh, for the surface. So that means uh, uh, the uh, different bands may play, uh, uh, yeah, they have uh, different roles and also uh, the, the interactions are different. And uh, so the multiband nature become very important or the multi-orbital nature, uh, unlike uh, cuprates, is essentially effectively it's a single band uh, superconductor. So there are some early evidence, and especially uh, my former student, uh, Peng Zhang, uh, when he was a uh, resident student in uh, Lawrence Berkeley lab, he found uh, that actually the band structure uh, is not like a uh, parabola, it's like a triangle. So back in uh, 2014, at that time, we were uh, started to look for topological materials. So our eye is particularly uh, sensitive to this uh, uh, so-called Dirac cone. So he actually, he raised the Fermi energy by putting uh, uh, potential on a surface. So he doubled the surface and found the same uh, have a Dirac cone. But the nobody believed uh, the fuzzy one it, it's actually Dirac cone. Uh, we kind of will think that's a possible. So we convince our theoretical colleagues in IOP, uh, especially Shi Dai, who is now in uh, uh, Hong Kong University, yeah, Science and Technology, and also Zhong Fang, and uh, uh, yeah, some of their students uh, to perform the LDA calculation on this material. I'm, uh, uh, terrorine seleni, they found that actually for the pure ion seleni, uh, there were no binary version, there were no topological band. But with the in increasing of the terrorine, uh, they, they put a half, uh, because half is easy to calculate. Uh, you can have the, yeah, uh, essentially theoretical uh, arrange, and uh, they actually found the surprising result, uh, one of uh, band, the PZ band, uh, actually become wider and they come down in energy and have this band inversion with the p orbitals. Uh, that you can easily prove it's a uh, uh, topological band inversion. Uh, in the meantime, we found uh, uh, with Suhan Pan's group, actually for the ion impurity in the same material, they have this. Uh, uh, strange, uh, robust, uh, zero bias peak. Uh, that lets us think uh, might be a, a majorana. But for impurity, it, it's difficult to think this can be a majorana because majorana usually come in pair. Yeah, you split one particle into two. They have to come to pair. So why the single impurity? You, you would think it only one. Also, uh, Jiang Ping Hu uh, had a, a similar uh, prediction for this uh, topological binary inversion, but uh, no one believed us, uh, because no one believed uh, this uh, uh, is real Dirac cone, is a real surface state, and uh, uh, no one believed LDA can predict anything in the strongly correlated ion based superconductor, especially in this uh, ion um, terrorium selenium, which have this uh, charge, uh, this mass renormalization of eight. So, LDA, yeah, yeah, 
will fail in predicting band position. And uh, until um, Feng Zhao, my former student, who actually see the first result, uh, become a postdoc in exchange group in ISSP in Japan. We continue to work on this problem, and he showed a beautiful RPAS, the laser RPAS result showed here. You actually see it's dual cone, much higher resolution, and also use the spin resolved RPAS to show it is actually spin polarized state, means it's a surface state, and this surface state becomes superconducting below bulk TC, which is 15 Kelvin. So this, we have a, a 2D uh, superconducting state, and which is spin polarized, means spin is, that essentially equivalent to for an account uh, model. So I actually, I talked to uh, Liang Fu, and uh, he immediately realized uh, this uh, is an idea platform. So with that, immediately started the collaboration with the Hong Gao's group, uh, a, a big uh, and excellent STM group in you know, our institute. Yes multiple uh, good STM. We first uh, use a tool, uh, the 400 milli uh, Then later on, uh, when we made, uh, published the first paper, and uh, he, uh, he's able to, to get the support uh, uh, to get even this uh, 30 milli uh, STM. So we, uh, we made a lot lot of uh, progress, uh, we have a lot of uh, people, students involved, um, continue uh, for several years, hard work. And uh, this is our, our first observation, uh, essentially uh, on this material, I am totally, uh, so then we apply magnetic field, uh, forming uh, uh, magnetic vortex inside the uh, Vortex center, we see the red peak, uh, the zero bias be very robust, uh, and uh, the black one is around the edge, uh, showing no uh, peak. So that's this. And uh, I remember when I talked to my student, and also student of Hong Jin Gao, I say, well, the chance to find it is very slim, and uh, and because. Uh, People, uh, most people at that time think it's impossible to have this because you have a metallic box state which can contaminate uh, this Majorna zero mode. So you have to have the insulating box state, which is not the case in a base superconductor. But uh, I somehow get the feeling uh, that it might be, uh, have a way uh, to get around of this, this problem, it turned out to be, it's quite trivial uh, to that. So, uh, so I say that for, for observing one thing, uh, you only need to have one time in 100 times. You don't need to observe every time. And of course, later on, you need uh, people be able to reproduce this. And uh, so, they tried uh, many times. Uh, the first the 12 times uh, were fail, and uh, the 13th, it's charm. So they found a very small peak, the zero bias peak in 13th time. Uh, this big peak is one of the best in 100 times. So that actually is. Um, so that's. Uh, uh, the evidence, and uh, then uh, we have to prove it is actually true zero mode, and uh, of course uh, we see if you wish to a magnetic field, uh, you don't have the peak, uh, it's clean. It's not uh, caused by impurity, and it, it's a single peak, and it's a true zero because uh, you have to really calibrate. Uh, you may shift it slightly, 
and in STM, because uh, you cannot really define where is zero, they always have, have, have this uh, offset. So we have to, so eventually we have to ask two independent groups and to verify, because who knows you know, if, <laughs> if you report it, that's possible. So this uh, uh, laydown was um, reproduced by several groups. Uh, I showed the result of, from uh, Hanaguri's group, uh, which have the highest resolution, and showed the zero peak, and the laydown in some similar mat uh, material by uh, Dong Nai Fong's group. And uh, this um, zero bias peak uh, does not split in space. And uh, so unlike uh, this ordinary so-called uh, Karoli Zhang state, uh, and uh, uh, which uh, at the center is zero, but you move away from the center of the core is split, as shown here. And here is uh, uh, the phrase I, I call it, say, Majorana zero modes never shift, they just fade away. And uh, so if you know uh, General MacArthur, say, the old soldier never die, they just fade away. And so I actually put this uh, sentence uh, uh, in our paper, <laughs> but it uh, uh, was removed. <laughs> so uh, uh, say you cannot uh, copy <laughs> the other people's work. And, uh, and the, uh, we compare to a theoretical uh, profile. Uh, this is uh, uh, pre uh, made by uh, Liang Fu. And uh, so comparison is excellent. Uh, we don't have use a fit uh, parameter. All of our parameter, coherence lines, uh, superconducting gap, and the Fermi energy are experimental result showing this. And uh, why we don't see all of the time in this material, the, the Majorana zero mode, and uh, uh, therefore a long time skepticism in the community to, toward uh, our result. Uh, they have even have a, a, a paper published ahead of our, of our paper saying, uh, titled the absence of Majorana zero mode and uh, uh, that later, uh, this year, we f finally figured out uh, this is actually in this material, it's a, a dedicated thing. Uh, the band inversion just touch uh, at the Z point. Uh, if you have uh, uh, too many iron uh, uh, component, if you have, uh, uh, yeah, much uh, impurity, and you essentially uh, you remove the band inversion. Uh, so, in one sense, uh, uh, we're lucky. Uh, we got the fantastic uh, single crystals uh, from uh, Gandalf uh, and from Brookhaven and uh, Gandalf's uh, group, and who made uh, a high uh, quality sample. In another thing. <laughs> is uh, this actually, um, if it's easy to observe, we are probably not the f first one to to publish it because we post the paper, uh, other people started to reproduce and uh, they found a uh, negative result. And even if a negative result published ahead of time, we, we have to spend uh, almost a year to convince uh, the science referee after five rounds uh, process finally accept and so uh, in that sense. Uh, but soon we have, uh, we start to convince community by this uh, observation essentially to see discrete vortex bound state. And, uh, and we know essentially uh, in a quantum Limit way back, pe people have figured out uh, within a, a magnetic vortex you have many bound state, and uh, this bound state uh, 
discrete. And uh, but uh, you know, <laughs> uh, in order to observe it, you you need uh, at a very low temperature to see it, so-called quantum limit. Uh, that temperature is defined by T C times superconducting that divided by E F, uh, which usually is very small. I will give you examples, and the discrete level is equally uh, separate and uh, followed by by this equation. For the ordinary vortex, uh, you have essentially half integer, so uh, they have no zero bias peak. They have half, a uh, minus half, half plus minus uh, three half, a five half uh, neighbor. But uh, if you have the topological, if you have so-called uh, the direct state, uh, that add a, a pi phase shift. You, from the barrier phase, uh, that actually uh, shift uh, by a half integer. Uh, that make shift become zero and plus minus one, plus minus two. Uh, so, but usually you cannot see it. Uh, I draw this uh, picture compare the ordinary vortex and the parallel vortex. And if they are too close to each other with uh, in your resolution, you see uh, identical, the blue, two blue peak, which all centered at, at zero. In fact, uh, one of the, this uh, left one essentially have no zero bias. Uh, and the, but uh, because uh, the parameter is not good, like the parameter for now being dissenting light, uh, TC, and the gap, and the EF is large. So the quantum limit is very low, seven millikelv. So the separation is like one micro EV. That's impossible to to distinguish. Uh, sorry, I so I will quickly go through this. But uh, if the EF in a ion-based superconductor approaching to milli EV, that you can have a huge like one milli EV. So you gain one thousand half times. So you can clearly. See this, and uh, then we found more and more evidence, like uh, uh, nearly quantum conductance plateau, uh, which demonstrated the nature of essentially the particle uh, symmetry. We found the new materials in this uh, um, high RTC, cathode, potassium, and four arsenic four. Uh, have uh, yeah, compare uh, experimental and the theory, even in the spatial profile, agreed almost perfectly. And we even found the, the unbased, uh, the mono layer uh, may be even better because they can have up to 60 Kelvin TC. Uh, of course, uh, you may have found that along this 1D edge for, for this. And uh, actually, most of unbased superconductors are topological. Uh, we have a paper. But the problem is for the lithium ion arsenic. Uh, it clearly shows uh, this uh, uh, direct cone, but the no zero bias peak at all. Uh, and uh, that's a big puzzle. Uh, now we realize uh, that's because your Fermi level is not in a right position. You can change it. Uh, you can change it by impurity, but the impurity you cannot uh, control it. So the way we do is we realize uh, that you can actually use a uniaxial strain to control it, uh, to create a so-called tunable uh, majority zero mode because the unbased superconductors uh, are like spring. Uh, the ion arsenic or ion uh, selenium is go up and down. So you can easily apply strain uh, to change uh, uh, bind structure. And so we, we homemade this uh, uh, strain device, uh, yeah, by using this uh, school uh, to, to do it. You, you can clearly see from our pass that uh, by tuning, uh, you see that they, the band can shift up and down by as much, as many as 20 milli EV, and, uh, which is uh, very large because you have uh, a EF, a few milli EV, so you, you can go, yeah, uh, 
uh, quite a lot. And we do the same uh, strain device in your STM and do this. And now you can see actually uh, by applying uh, strain, the, the vortex shape uh, change from four fold symmetry to the two fold symmetry, then you can actually tune it and uh, to make uh, the non zero uh, peak become zero, as shown here, uh, the chance is very large. And uh, before uh, 22 uh, free vortex, zero percentage has a, a, a major non zero mode. With the stream, we, we achieve a very high percentage. Uh, in fact, the, the middle one, so called P2, we achieve 100 percent. So you can tune it. And also, it's quantized. Uh, you, you can see from zero, you can see plus minus one, plus minus two. And uh, that's uh, very important. So if you can see some peak between plus one, minus one, and the integer, it has to be zero. Yeah. So you can, you can actually tune this uh, separation exactly as uh, this uh, theoretical prediction, and also in this, uh, uh, the naturally occurred strain, some sample, you can see a large uh, pattern of uh, Majorana with 100%. So that you can able to control it. So uh, they essentially, this is a nature scape uh, for the arm based supercon. Conductor. Uh, I called a paper uh, by this uh, year end review uh, on the nature review physics uh, 2020. So, from Anions to Majoranas, uh, that's they actually this is a Goldilocks scenario. And uh, so, we see all of the good advantages single material, high DC, and most important, high purity because. You have an idea case that this uh, uh, Fermi energy actually become similar or even smaller than a superconducting gap. So you have this, and that's uh, it, essentially this become a unique explanation in, in theory, and you you have no way to to go around. So we are very confident that this uh, discrete label. Uh, showing up uh, between the plus one and the minus one has to be uh, a, a zero mode. And uh, therefore, many observation uh, here, at least both in the vortex space and also the um, defect space, uh, therefore a couple of papers by uh, other groups. So that, that become uh, essentially a zoo or, or, or playground for uh, Majorana. So to conclude my talk, uh, we firmly establish topological nature of the arm-based superconductors. We provide companion evidence, uh, if not uh, uh, definite uh, evidence for existence a pure Majorana zero mode in a vortex of many arm-based superconductor. Uh, I'm uh, based superconductor has emerged as a new Majorana platform that we published a series of papers over the uh, last five years. Uh, finally, I called a famous poem uh, from Lu Yu, Tian Ma Bing Ke Lu Meng Nai. Lastly, uh, I would uh, acknowledge many collaborators, most, uh, most significant uh, Hong Jun Gao's team, Gen Da Gu, and uh, um, Chang Qing Jin's uh, sample providers, Theory from Liang Fu and the Ken Wang, and many more. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. So you can see that you know from the TD list, fundamental question about you know the nature of the universe, and lead to this real discovery in quite common material because iron superconductor is very easy to make. A lot of groups can make it, and that actually opened up the bright future for potential application. You know, we know that in the 50s, when the superconductor, uh, semiconductor theory come out, it's you know, kind of like a, you know, 
academic uh, you know, exercise. But uh, later on, we know that without, uh, without the semiconductor, our life is completely different. So Hongding now open up a new frontier for possible application, particularly these material are both superconducting, also topological, right? So you know that, uh, you know, that, that the potential for the quantum computation we yeah, hope, will, we be, hope. will be very, very <laughs> promising. Yeah. So, so, so congratulations. For you. Indeed, you have <laughs> surpassed yeah, we're, 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 <laughs> your we're initial lucky, contribution. Yeah. Lucky to so now let's uh, open for questions. <clears throat> Ask one question about the surface state. Uh, can we observe surface state in the optical uh, measurement, like uh, the reflectance or uh, transmission measurement, or or only we can observe uh, surface state in uh, APAS or STM? Well, um, it, of course, it's possible to observe in um, many experimental uh, techniques for surface state. Um, but you have to be uh, surface sen sensitive. A lot of uh, optical uh, tools uh, are not uh, surface sensitive uh, because the wavelengths uh, of optical wavelengths uh, is uh, compared to the surface uh, layers are, are <laughs> uh, it's much larger. So you need to have a short wave opticals uh, to do this, and also for transport the same problem. So uh, people do find that the, the surface state contribution to the uh, transport, but you have to make sample uh, very thin. Uh, means uh, the surface bulk ratio become large, and you can distinguish the yeah, surface of the bulk. And uh, so the same issue here. Of course, it's possible. Thank you. So any, any other question? Is there a strategy for realizing grading? Well, that's uh, a very good question. Uh, that's uh, it was sixty-four thousand dollars question. And uh, well, um, to braid uh, vortex is not easy, and also the braiding time is very strict, so you cannot be too fast or too, too slow. <clears throat> and uh, originally people were thinking to move vortex, and it is possible to move, but to move in a right time frame uh, is not easy. Um, but uh, now they have a proposal called the breathing without the moving. And uh, you can do it by measurement. And uh, the, the earliest uh, proposal was um, Proposed by So Chen Zhang and uh, 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 Xiao Liang Qi in Stanford. Uh, they they propose in the quantum anomalous the whole um, effect uh, or insulator uh, that can be do um, uh, can be done. And uh, recently there are several uh, similar proposal even in this uh, nano wire. Uh, the nano wire. Uh, the advantage is they, they can breed, they, they can make a T-junction, they can move. And, but in reality, it, it's difficult. So they also proposed um, um, breeding by measurement. So that, that's possible uh, to do. We have some yeah, proposals, uh, uh, so we're trying to realize, although it's uh, highly challenging. To make something like a squid, we would that have a new type of... Uh, so, where you can, you can observe it, um, for the breed, <laughs> breeding, you have to move two. Right? Suppose you have exchange, or you have to move one, uh, Majana zero mode around another one. Right? So it's um, 
yeah, the movement itself is not easy. Uh, but our, uh, our strategy is actually try to convince the com community you can do it in two steps. You don't have to do braiding in order to prove this is uh, Mashona Zelmo. Then you do braiding uh, to achieve, uh, of course, to demonstrate uh, the non-binning statistics, uh, which is uh, the most important. And uh, so, but this, you can also do it by um, interference, uh, by some transport, and uh, so that, Thank you very much, Professor Ding. It's a very intriguing talk, and uh, even the researcher in South Matter, I feel like very excited about the, what you have done and uh, with the, the progress of the field. So I have a question regarding this, uh, the initial motivation in this field. Actually, the Majorona uh, um, uh, fermion, actually people want to study, uh, to find it within the standard model in the, in the, under the framework or from the particle perspective. And now people find that it's very hard to find the Mariana uh, fermion in, that, in those parts. And then people switch the gear to uh, condense the matter. So do you think it's still there's a hope in the particle physics perspective to find uh, those uh, ecstatic uh, fermions? Okay. Yeah, uh, in particle physics, uh, one of uh, holy grail uh, is to uh, prove uh, neutrino is Marshall and Fermi. Uh, and uh, so there were several uh, proposed uh, experiments uh, called spillings to, to do it. And uh, so it's actually possible. I heard a Juno experiment uh, in Jiangmen, one of late stage uh, is uh, after they establish the hierarchy of the mass of the neutrino, they want to do it uh, to search uh, for this uh, um, neutrino risk double beta, beta decay because there's a huge tank uh, it's able to do. Uh, that they may be able to reach the limit to, to see uh, whether or not that they, they so still the particle uh, physics is extremely interesting in that, uh, and uh, the, the interest in condensed matter is most driven by the perspective of, the, 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 this, uh, of application in uh, quantum computation. And that actually, uh, if that can be done, uh, say if the one can build a, a topological quantum qubit, uh, that essentially, is to some degree is an analog saying build a, a quantum transistors. Yeah. So that's the building block for quantum com computer. Okay, uh, last question. Is there any other um, signature uh, for the Majorana Fermi other than the, um, uh, this zero bias conduct conductance peak? Well, um, yeah, we have, uh, um, yes. Um, so f firstly, you have to prove it's a true zero energy peak. And uh, secondly, you need to show some properties like this uh, uh, quantized plateau, uh, or you have to show this, uh, um, uh, this called Majorana interference pattern, uh, the four pi instead of two pi, and, uh, and also you have uh, uh, find, um, say, a, a Majorana fermion uh, instead of Majorana zero mode means, uh, because they have a, uh, correspondence, and so in the defect, uh, you, uh, you have localized zero mode along the edge, uh, um, uh, when you br break uh, this um, symmetry, you, you, you have a true, Majorana fermions, uh, which is the true analog of the particle physics, because the Majorana zero mode has no analog uh, of that. that. Uh, in fact, the, the name of the Majorana in zero mode 
is somewhat misleading. Maybe you can call the icing the whole mold. And, uh, but uh, so, but the the fermion, my shona, fermion share yeah in 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 solid share a lot yeah, more similarity with the my shona uh, fermions in in particle physics. Yeah, that by by observing the my shona fermion, it, it's actually very important. So we actually now our group is, uh, yeah try to spend most of our time. To search the the edge mode, uh, the Carroll, uh, yeah, Majorna uh, edge mode. Like for example, the many-body quantum entanglement. Because I, uh, from your talk, I saw it seems that the Majorana fermions shows very rich texture and uh, structures, uh, which are, which are quite new. So I'm wondering if there are an, an, any connection between this the kind of the very fundamental quasi particles uh, excitation and uh, the many-body states. Well, um, well this uh, you don't need a, a strong many-body interaction to generate. You don't necessarily need. Uh, but uh, in ion-based superconductor, I think uh, the superconductivity itself is probably through this uh, strong many-body interaction. And, uh, but of course, if you have a so-called Majorana metal, the Majorana lattice, and that because they are in entangled, right? Uh, that um, high, have its own physics okay. you can do. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so we know that Mariana, he, he's actually contemporary of the Dirac, right? So initially that theory is considered a failed theory yeah. to describe the electron. But it turned out that uh, that kind of, uh, also well, right? Where well, electron is not a real yeah. electron. The, the correct theory for real electron is still Dirac. But that kind of quasi particle or whatever they call it has strange properties. So we'll we'll see that uh, you know it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a budding field, right? So, so yeah. there's still a lot to explore. So we are very fortunate today to have a pioneer of the field, Professor Hong Ding, to talk about this uh, uh, today. So let's uh, thank him <laughs> for. Thank you very much for having me here.